Hello everyone. Um, we are finally home from Memphis. Thank goodness. It's been a very long day. <laughs> but um, this is just one of the hauls that we have. Um, this one is from Sprouts. And as you see, we've got whole grain pastas. Um, we've got pasta sauce. We have daya cheese. Um, the cream cheese. We have smart bagels. Those are whole wheat. Um, let's see. We have two of these big boxes of the toasted wheat fools. And then we have this organic cereal from Cascadia Farms. Their pastas, the cereal, um, the bagels, the day of cheese, and the hummus, and the pasta sauce. All of this stuff was buy one get one free, so they're having a really good sale. Um, if you ever bought any of the dairy free cheese or anything like that, you know it typically costs more than than um, dairy cheese. And the same with anything that's whole grain. That's usually, you know, quite a bit more than the regular pasta or bread. Um, I try to keep these in the house now because it uh, doesn't affect, you know, my sugar. Well, that's, that's how I ended up um, pretty much getting rid of diabetes that and the, the plant-based diet. Um, you will see a few things in my hauls that aren't plant-based like these yogurts. Um, not everyone in my family is plant-based and I still cook for family members that um, you know I, I can't force my diet on them. I can prepare them one or two meals a week, you know, that are meat free and dairy free. And maybe they'll eventually come around. But um, all of this, like the day of cheese, that's usually at least around here, like $4.99. And these were buy one, get one free. Um, the cream cheese, I think that's like four fifty to four ninety nine. That was buy one get one free. Um, the Newman's own, that's usually pretty expensive around here. Um, this one is organic, and I know our local health food store carries this, and it's it's definitely pricey. Um, I was so happy to find these pastas because um, they cost quite a bit. And this one is made with chickpeas. I haven't gotten to try these yet. Pretty soon I will. Okay, all in all, sprouts, keep in mind, yes, I could go to any grocery store around here and get this amount, usually for half the price, but when you start going dairy-free and stuff like that, you typically have a higher cost. Um, this one ended up being $63.54. And if you take off the things like this right here on the grocery hauls, um, it ends up not being that bad. But the next one I'm going to load will be the Whole Foods haul. And, um, after that, we have an Asian food store haul, and that will be it. <laughs> um, today, I think we've probably gotten enough food to last us at least a whole month. Um, like, that's another thing. These, you know, things like this and the pasta, you know, I wanted to stock up on it when I could, 
like these I will stick one package in the freezer and keep one package out to eat and these are the thin sliced ones so um, they'll stretch out and like I said this is not gonna this is not gonna affect my sugar readings I don't know if you guys have ever tried these but they are delicious we got these the last time that we went to Memphis um, they're the hatch grain chili tortillas I recommend these highly um, sorry guys I still have the sniffles um, let me see here anyway all right I'm gonna put these up and then I'm going to load the other grocery haul and eventually I'm going to get to go to bed <laughs> but catch you in a minute Okay, this is the Whole Foods haul. Um, it is the most expensive haul that we got all day. Um, but right here is the reason for that. Um, these are $5.99 a piece. But um, you can't find them everywhere in the United States. And... They do not have them where we live, but uh, they do in Memphis, so when we go over there, we try to stock up, and this is probably going to last us about three months, so when you think of it that way, it's not actually that bad, and we do not at all miss hamburgers, um, at least the meat ones. Um, this they're delicious uh, it fills you up and you know there's 20 grams of protein in this and there's no cholesterol none of the bad stuff um, and like I said this is just a splurge every once in a while so it's not that bad um, and this is also a splurge I normally don't buy this kind of stuff but I don't know sometimes I'm an emotional eater and I want just quick easy things so yeah bad habit um, and then we have the organic whole wheat flour for making homemade breads and we have the unbleached self-rising that is non GMO this any kind of sprouted bread or pasta anything like that whole grains are great for diabetics but if you can find sprouted it's even lower glycemic it is amazing um, and so much more nutritious and then this hibiscus tea um, I follow Dr. Greger and he's done numerous studies and for a while he believed that matcha tea was the healthiest tea that you could find and they did a lot of studies on hibiscus and overall they have found that it is the best as far as antioxidants and um, it has cancer fighting agents um, it's just it's very healthy to drink and that's of course if you don't load it with sugar um, but I'll be putting probably some agave nectar in it I'm not sure yet uh, but this all together was about $60 like I said $30 of that was the burgers um, the flour was like the King Arthur was $5.99, I believe, and the organic whole wheat was $4.99. The teas were three something a piece. So all the stuff adds up, you know. But like I said, we were splurging today. So, anyways, um, definitely not the normal for us. <laughs> but now I'm going to put this up and. I will load the last haul and then finally get some rest. Okay, 
last haul. <laughs> um, we also have some convenience foods in here. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this is not me normally, but I've just been so tired lately. I have a teething baby, and he just doesn't sleep at night time. Okay. All right. <laughs> um... We have some oyster mushrooms here. We love mushrooms, by the way, if you can't tell. We have enoki mushrooms. We have dried shiitake mushrooms, which will be great to keep on hand. And these are a type of mushroom. Um, it's black fungus. It sounds disgusting, but it's truly not. Um, also, got several packages of the um, udon noodles. These are very delicious. Um, fresh cilantro. We got three bunches of onions. Now this does have chicken in it and this does have beef in it. But like I said, some of my family members still, you know, they're not whole food plant-based or even plant-based. Okay, and these are um, like soup flavorings. They're really good. Um, we got some mama ramen noodles. I will not eat instant ramen noodles like the uh, Nissan brand or anything because they have TBHQ in them and that's just a huge no-no. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's very, very bad. Um, yes, these do have quite a bit of sodium in them, but don't drink the juice or the stock and you'll be fine. And they taste so much better than the Nissan brand. Um, I got chamomile packets. Now these, honestly, we're planning on putting these in bath bombs and our um, homemade bath soaps. Um, we got some organic dry udon. Um, this is highly convenient. Um, something else, uh, a lot of my friends know that uh, we tend to prep. Um, we like to put away things for emergencies or, um, you know, job loss, illness, anything, just so that we're prepared and we have food. And anytime I can find things that, you know, are shelf stable for a good while or I can get them at a good deal, I usually stock up on it. And so today, I found plenty of brown rice. Um, that is a staple in my diet. Um, I don't eat white rice anymore because that is bad for a diabetic, but the brown rice is excellent. Now this one will be more of a dessert rice because it is regular brown and sticky brown rice, so that's not gonna be an everyday thing. But these definitely. And then uh, this. <clears throat> I definitely have plans to make some tamales soon. Um, as soon as I get that done, I will share the video. But um, we're planning on stuffing some with uh, veggies and probably beans and um, maybe even some mushrooms. But. Um, let's see, all of this together was around 75, so if you take this and the other two hauls and put them all together, that is a lot of food and a lot of staple items, which usually cost quite a bit more. Um, so like I said at the beginning, this is probably enough to last well over a month and um, altogether it was just under 
$200 for all three hauls. Um, we will have to fill in a few items here and there, of course, um, but not really much of anything. But we already have some things here also. We've always got food here, but uh, I feel pretty lucky to find this stuff today. And uh, like I said, definitely not one of my best, best trips, but it's not bad considering the items that I got. Um, but if you're trying to eat a whole food or even just a plant-based diet, uh, I would definitely recommend looking for some of the ethnic stores because you can find better deals there and normally when we come out of an Asian market or anything like that we have a ton of fresh veggies with us because they're just so affordable but we've already got quite a few in the refrigerator right now so we really didn't need that but I was definitely happy to find the brown rice so that's what we got and mushrooms but um Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe it, it gave you a better insight of what some things cost and uh, where you can find them. A lot of people I know ask me, you know, they, I don't know, they're just, they're just they, they don't know how to go about eating a plant-based diet. They want to, but they don't know where to start. So if I can help you in any way, just send me a message or comment below I'll definitely try my hardest but anyways now it's time for me to relax and I hope you guys can do the same but uh, I will talk to you again soon and enjoy your night or day whenever you watch this but anyways love you guys bye